New at four, migrants move in after months of pushback from Woodlawn residents. The city has moved forward with plans to convert a vacant Chicago public school into some temporary housing for asylum seekers. CBS 2's Lauren Victor joins us live from the school turned shelter where our cameras capture the first residents heading inside, Lauren. Hi there, Jim and Marie. Well, I stood in a spot not far from here in October to tell you this might be happening, but the city told us that day there were no plans to turn the school into a shelter. Well, since then, the neighbors have complained about a lack of transparency by the city. Their words, a sentiment that has led to some drama before the migrants arrived. What are you doing here right now? I'm not, uh, you know, they lied to us and letting us not know anything. So we not letting them come in. That's Louis Cardona, who is so strongly opposed to moving migrants into the school that he and another man stood in front of the CTA bus with migrants on board. Cardona's upset because he lives by what's now the shelter and feels the building should be used for neighborhood activities. Both men said they'd be willing to get arrested for blocking the bus, but that didn't happen. Instead, Chicago police routed the migrants a different way. Chopper 2 shows people exiting the bus in the school parking lot. They they carried bicycles, belongings, and bags. At a recent meeting, the city said the initial move in will be about 250 adult men and women from other shelters in Chicago. Today, we learned there was about 100. That is to alleviate crowding, overcrowding at other locations struggling with space issues. Now, we asked the mayor's office this morning if we could tour the renovated school before the move in. We never heard back. We do know that the plan is to use this building as a shelter for at most two years. Reporting live in Woodlawn, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Lauren, thank you.